What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to work with audio in After Effects. So we're gonna get started, we go File, Import, and I'm gonna select a couple of files here, and that's adobeeasy.move and a .wav file. Next, what we're gonna do is go Composition, New Composition. And I have this at a default, it's 1080. I'm gonna switch this up here, and the video is at 1280 by 720. You can also select Custom, and you can increase the frame rate, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna leave it like this, select OK. Then we're going to take this .move file, bring it onto the timeline. And the first thing that I'm going to do is right here in the preview window is select play. And this is different than pressing spacebar. What spacebar does is allows you to preview the video that you're watching. But what these controls in the preview window allow you to do is actually pre-render the video, including the audio. And that's important to know the difference between that. So what we're going to do first is select play. Tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro C now I'm going to mute the audio right now, but you notice that the audio was a little bit choppy. And the reason being is because After Effects is actually pre-rendering. So if you notice that, don't worry about it. Just let the video pre-render, and that's what I'm letting it do right now. Now I'm going to actually let the audio play, bring some sound here, and let's press play. What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So you notice the difference. At first it was choppy, but then we let it pre-render, and then we press play again, and you can hear the audio. Now I'm going to scrub to the beginning of the timeline, and the next thing we're going to do is just delete this off the timeline, and we have a WAV file. And I'll recommend this. As far as bringing audio into After Effects, select an MP3 or a WAV file. Those are a couple of good examples of the kinds of audio you can import. So now what I'm going to do here is a little bit different. You can go to Composition, Preview, and we can select Audio Preview here forward, or you can select the Work Area. I'm going to select here forward. And also, I forgot to mention before, if you look at the drop down here, select Audio, select Waveform, you can actually see the audio here. But the difference between a program like this, again, and Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition is how to edit the audio. You want to have a different kind of program to edit the audio so you can actually make the edits. When you look at this program in After Effects, Adobe just doesn't make this program for that kind of editing. And as far as the movie file, we can still see here on the drop down, you can also look at the audio. So it's important is say if you want to adjust the levels, because you can do that kind of stuff over here, you can adjust the levels of the audio on how you want to hear it. You can also adjust the audio levels over here with keyframes. So you could do that kind of stuff. But as far as really detailed audio editing, again, you want to use a different application. And if you notice here in the effects and presets panel, we do have audio options. So you can actually add some effects. Again, they're not a lot of effects, but Adobe include a few of them so you can check them out. So that's pretty much what I want to show you guys in this tutorial with After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.